Assalamu alaikum students, I'm Dr. Shamsa Kamal and I'm taking your course of biochemistry. Uh, today we will talk about uh, what are lipids. Lipids are the biological compound soluble in non-polar solvent, meaning they are not soluble in water. Chemically heterogeneous, simple or complex. Hydrogen is mean instead of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, they contain other compounds as well like sulfur, sometimes phosphorus as well, depending on the structure. Simple lipids, they are a mixture of combination of alcohols or one or more fatty acids. More complex lipids, they are, they contain some other functional groups like phosphates or sulfur groups as well. And we will see in the structures. The energy given nutrients are carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. Lipids are the source of energy and like uh, carbohydrates and proteins and they are a concentrated source of energy. The value is much more than that of carbohydrates and proteins. They are a good source of energy. Um, the calorific value is here for carbohydrates it is uh, Carbohydrates and proteins for both it is 4 kilocalories per gram and from lipids we can extract 9 kilocalories from 1 gram so they are the powerful source of energy. Human beings have a limited capacity to store carbohydrates and proteins. Moreover, significant amount of water is required to store them. So, but the capacity to store lipids is almost unlimited. No water is required to store lipids therefore lipids are the preferred form of for the storage of energy in an average person about 80 percent of the stored energy is in the form of lipids lipids are stored mostly in the form of triglycerides triglyceride consists of three fatty acids triword is coming from three fatty acids as terrified with the molecule of glycerol we will see the structures later classification of lipids is this below Lipids, they are a type of sponifiable lipids, no sponifiable lipids. Seponini, you must be you knowing the word from the soap formation. Soap kind of formation is in this saponifiable lipids. They are relatively simple. The examples are waxes. They are simple and complex both type. For in the simple ones, waxes and triglycerides, sponifiable lipids, uh, the complex uh, saponifiable lipids, they are phosphoglycerides and sphingolipids. They are containing phosphate groups and other complex structures. Non saponifiable lipids, they cannot be saponified or soluble in water, anyways. They are the steroids and prostaglandins. These are the enzymes as well. What are the fatty acids? These are the linear molecule uh, having 10 to 20 carbons in length. Even number of carbons, that is must. No other functional groups but carboxylic. Sometimes alkene groups are there, uh, like uh, there is the unsaturation. Saturated or unsaturated are can be there. This is the uh, non uh, one of the example of fatty acid. Fatty acids are kind of. Uh, and having two types of characteristics the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic one hydrophobic is non-polar that is having the you know, the long carbon chain structure the, uh, the tail and the other is carboxylic group bearing that is water soluble polar and because it's it can have positive and negative charges so you can see that this non-polar tail and the polar head at the carboxylic side what is solubility fatty acids are there present in the organism and how it assembles there because human body or the life systems they have um, a high content of water in water hydrophobic part of the molecule dominates very insoluble in water it forms micelles in water micelle is kind of a structure which aligns itself in the form that hydrophobic and it gathers inside and the 
hydrophilic end that is the polar carboxylic group it it uh, it is now in intact with the water that is more polar based on the concept like dissolves like so this is kind of a micelles formation this whole structure these are the some important fatty acids compound types based on the number of carbon saturated ones mm, mean there is no unsaturation there is no double bond they are 14 16 18 20 carbon bearing and their names are there and the common sources are also written along with their melting points so the melting points are higher as compared to one with the unsaturations like mono unsaturated palmi palmitolic acid and oleic acid they have uh, unsaturations in them and their um, melting points are minus 1 and 13 similarly for the poly unsaturated acids their melting points decrease even higher decrease below uh, or the melting points are even lower as compared to uh, those for uh, mono unsaturated ones and their numbers are many fish oil and seafoods are the sources for these uh, kind of uh, other linseed oils are the sources for these kind of polyunsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids uh, in the individually in separate tables you can see lauric acid myristic acid palmitic acid steric acid along with their number of carbon atoms and they don't have any of the conjugation in them unsaturated fatty acids as uh, in the table earlier you can see you can um, memorize the name of two a number of carbon uh, double bonds how many unsaturated bonds are there properties of fats and oils triglyceride roles in natural fats and oils are non polar Triglycerides. In natural fats and oils are non-polar, mean they are not soluble in water. You know, all the oils and fats they are mostly insoluble in water. Hydrophobic molecules with no ionic charges. Oil is a mixture of triglyceride that is liquid because it contains a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids. Fat is a mixture of triglyceride that is solid because it contains a high proportion of saturated fatty acids when there is unsaturation it is oil its melting point is very low but for fats their melting point is high they are in the solid form because of the un because of the saturation hydrocarbon chain in saturated acids are flexible and uniform in shape allowing them to nestle together by contrast the carbon chain in unsaturated acids this is the unsaturated acid and it is having double bond here cis double bond they have rigid kinks kinks or bands whenever they contain cis double bonds the kinks make it difficult for such chains to fit and this is unsaturated fat band this is the band in the cis double bond whereas saturated fat has only c double bond c single bond c and appears straight melting point melting point increases with size but it has lesser effect decreases with unsaturation greater effect it means melting point is lesser affected by the size of the chain however if there is unsaturation or saturation melting points vary greatly uh, you can see in the structures is a straight chain mean there is no double bond um, the melting point is 71 degrees C when in the same length structure but there is a cis double bond there or for the oleic acid melting point decreases to 13 degrees C again there is cis double bonds two dot with this two double cis double bonds 
in case of linoleic acid, base melting point even decreases to minus 5 degrees C. You should know such things. Cis versus trans fatty acid. When there is kind of a double bond in the straight chain, there can be chance of uh, cis and trans fatty acid origination. Cis fatty acids occur naturally, trans fatty acids occur during hydrogenation reactions. Mm, so there are two types of uh, the, this one this structure upper wall structure is the cis and the lower below one is the trans structure alternate view of the fatty acids this can be written as such triglycerides mm, we will uh, we will uh, follow this lecture in the next slide up to now Mm, you need to discover about these structures you need to practice these structures properly and there will be a few assignments later in the next lectures thank you